Well hi everybody and welcome to this Advent video for the 18th of December. In these times we're looking at my Advent calendar, Jesus, God's promises fulfilled, daily devotions for the Christmas season. Each one has a promise and a verse and I'm just reflecting upon that to give us something to think about. Um, and so the promise today is the promise of eternal life and the verse of the day is from John chapter 11. Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me will live even though he dies. Now, if we were looking for places outside of scripture to best summarise why Jesus came into this world, I would suggest that Hark the Herald Angels Sing, that great carol, is about as good as you'll find. Have a look sometime at the lyrics of that great carol. It speaks so much of, of the reason why Jesus left his throne in heaven. And there's a line in there that says this, Mild he lays his glory by, born that man no more may die. Jesus left his glory in heaven and was born. He chose to be born. You and I didn't choose to be born, but he did. And he did it in order that he might come and enable us to have eternal life. Now, in order for Jesus to give us eternal life, he, the son of God, had to become a person, a human, a truly human, a human being. And, and one of the places we see most fully and clearly the fact that Jesus was both divine and also human is actually in John chapter 11 where this verse comes from. You'll notice it starts by saying Jesus said to her. So who is the her there? Well it, it's Martha. So here's the, here's the scene, it's Mary and Martha lamenting the loss of their brother Lazarus as he's just died. Now Mary, Martha and Lazarus were dear friends of Jesus and Jesus arrives and he it shows that he, he wept, actually. The, the scripture says, Jesus wept. That is the shortest verse in the Bible. Jesus wept. That shows his humanity, doesn't it? That he cares. Uh, why did Jesus weep? Well, he wept for two reasons. One, because he, he had compassion for Mary and Martha and friends and family who saw the loss of their loved one. But, but also he felt it himself. He cared about Lazarus and he felt the, the sting of death in that moment. So we see the humanity of Jesus there, but, but it's not just the humanity. We see his divinity as he, at the end of the story, raises Lazarus from the dead. Now, before he does that, he has a conversation with Martha. And Martha basically says to Jesus upon his arrival at the home, Jesus, if you'd been here, then this wouldn't have happened. And Jesus says, Lazarus is going to rise again. And she says, I know he will rise again at the last day. What does she mean by that? She means, I know there will be some kind of eternity for, for God's people. But Jesus takes this moment to teach us something about eternity. And he says these words, Martha, I am the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me will never die, but will have eternal life, says Jesus to Martha. It, it, the, the resurrection, the eternal life is centred around faith in Jesus. That's why he came into this world. Now, death remains a reality in the sense of we see people die and we feel that enormously, don't we? There's nothing more seemingly cruel than seeing a loved one die. Uh, we feel the pain of that. If you've lost loved ones, then you, you feel it. It hurts. It's been a year where many have died from the virus and, and perhaps you even know of people who, who've died and it hurts. Death hurts like nothing else. And, and we feel that at Christmas time, probably more than ever if we've lost loved ones. But the glorious promise here and throughout scripture is that death is not the final word for the believer. So although it's hard for us here on earth to have lost loved ones, those who have, uh, have died here on earth but have had have trusted in Jesus, the promise for them is this, that though they die, they will live. They are living. They have eternal life and it's a free gift of God. That is why Jesus came into this world. Mild he laid his glory by, born that man no more may die. Now when Jesus had this conversation with Martha, he said to Martha, do you believe this? And she was able to affirm that she did and because of that this promise was hers eternal life would be hers. And friends, that is true for us too. If we believe this promise from Jesus, then eternal life is ours. And even though this world is cruel, even though it's hard, even though it's fallen and broken, our great hope is life eternal. And it's all because Jesus came and dwelt among us in order to rescue us. Let's pray. 
our Father in heaven, we thank you that though this world is broken and fallen and cursed, that you have not abandoned it and you have won salvation and that involved sending your son, the Lord Jesus. And Lord Jesus, we do thank you that you left your glory in order that man may not die. Lord, this is wonderful. May we believe that you are indeed the resurrection and the life and that all who put their hope in you will enjoy future bodily resurrection and will dwell in your presence. And Holy Spirit, we ask that you might uh, make these things real in our hearts, that you might thrill us with the hope of eternity. That even as we navigate this hard world, even as we struggle in certain ways, may we never forget that if our hope is in you, that our future is one of resurrection. We bless you for this great truth and we celebrate it in Jesus' name. Amen.